Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is January 10th, 2024. I'm here for my Wordle and Quartle of the Day and for House Plants Day. Don't those look amazing? I would love to have these in my home. But I can have cats or I can have plants. I cannot have both. No matter what it is, if I bring it into the house and it's from the outside, Firepaw will attack it. It doesn't even matter if it's a bare stick. He just loves anything that comes from the outdoors or anything that's growing. Yeah, it's, I can't, I can't get flowers as gifts. They, nope, doesn't work. All right, so I'm going to use the word plant as my inspiration word for the day. It's got an L, an N, and a T. So three of our letters plus an A, which is a good vowel. So let's see what we can get from here. <laughs> well, that did not meet expectations. I was really hopeful there. Okay, so we've got a T. What are the letters haven't we used yet? We haven't used R, S, and E. So we have rest, rusty. Um, what about hmm, T, R, Ha. Huh. Well, that's not working out as, as I <laughs> hoped it might. Um, what about ST? ST. What about store? Oh, there we go. Store. We'll just put an O in there and we get all of the letters. We try the T in another spot. That doesn't work, but we got two more letters. All right. So let's figure this out. We have got a T, right? And it could be here, here, or here. We have got an R. Here, 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 or here. And an E in any one of the first four spots. So right away I'm thinking ER. Switch these guys up here. And then we could do a T here. And we could do a U or an I. And what would go there? Tighter. We could just try that and see, you know, where everything needs to be placed. Uh, biter, miter. Um, if we do a U. Yeah cuter. Okay, but then what if we take the T and we move it to here and we try an I or a U. Tiger. Oh, I think I want to try tiger. Yeah, I could have a tiger and no house plants. That would work. Okay, well, we got a little extra information here. Uh, the vowels. Are, are we just going to stick with an E? Is that all we get for vowels? Well, let's clean this up. We've got more information now. So we've got two things placed, a T and an E. Now we have to figure out where that R goes. We've got two different spots for it. So the R could go here, which is what I'm guessing, could go here. So if we try, and that's all we have, huh? If we try an R here, um, it can't be truer because we have excluded the R from there. So at least that's one thing. So I don't think we have a U. I don't know else, what else would go there if we put in a U. So it could be treed, right? We could have another E and we could have a D. Um, if we put the E there, it could be... That's it. That's all I can see. Treed. Um, what if we don't put in, if we put a Y there, 
we need some sort of vowel, right? If we put a Y there, trier, we can't do an R here. Uh, okay, so let's see. Let's, let's think of that word treed. Let's keep that. I don't want to forget what we came up with. Very possible. And let's do the R here. So if we put an E here, what could go there? Uh, I don't see anything. So if we put a U here, we can't do a, a T. I don't think Tara is spelled that way anyway, but just in case. I think it's treed. If it's not treed, I don't know what it is, so I need to play treed to find out. I need to figure out where the R goes, what goes here if there's another E in here. Wow! That did not help because I'm stuck back where I was. So we've got that and we've got that. And now we've got one more bit of information. An R goes here. So I missed something. So what could go here? Oh, T-H-R. I didn't think of a three consonant blend. What if we do this through? Okay, so I missed something, and I think it's now through. T-H-R-E-W, through. Phew! Got down to five again. Been getting a lot of those lately. Oh. And, and on words that I don't think should take that long. I don't think through should have been that hard for me. And yet, here we are. All right. Well, let's hope that quartal goes a bit better. Let's jump in and see what we can do. We've got fishy, budge, clown, tramp. We have got gummy. G, U, G could go here, M could go here, everything else. I can't be like, guck me, gudge me, jug me, no, gummy. Okay, cream, C-R-E-A-M, C-R-E could go here, A could go here, M could go here. Fleck, F-L-E-C-K. Right? We haven't used the K yet. That looks good with a C. And then this. Oh, we've got it. We've got four letters here. Oh, puree. No, because the U can't go there. So, um, P could go here, right? E could go here. Uh... It can't be something like purview because we don't have enough spots. Um, R could go here. You could go here. Oh, hold on. No. I was thinking Q with the U, but we've excluded the U from here. Uh, e, Q, U, I, P would work if we had the right letters and we hadn't excluded things from certain spots. So it's not impossible that a Q could fit in here, but I don't, I don't see it with what we've got. All right, I'm going to have to draw things out here. Let's backspace so we don't make a mistake here. So we have got a P in one of these spots. We have got a U here, 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 or here. We have got an E here, here, or here, and we have got an R here, 
here, here, or here. We didn't really exclude a lot. We got the U out of here twice and the R out of here twice based on the words we played. So let's take a look at this. What have we got? Upper. U-P-P-E-R. Oh, I think we got it. Just seeing it drawn out differently can help. So the U could go here, the P could go here, the P could go here, the E could go here, and the R could go here. If this isn't it, it's going to give us more information and exclusion, but I think this is it. There we go. Phew, got that one done. <sighs> Those were a bit of a struggle today, but hey, you know, I, I didn't lose. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.